It has been uh, tough, Sean, because a lot has happened. And if you asked me back then, would we be in this position, I would have said, uh, what are you dreaming about? And, uh, you know, we've had to take specific measures as we move forward. But uh, I got to be honest with you, our employees and our directors and all as a group, we have worked very hard together and we will continue to move forward as uh, a strong business with Cineplex. I want to start with that road ahead, just to clarify on the money front. Um, when it comes to the financial position and having access to enough money during this period of uncertainty, what would you say specifically to that? Well, we have been very, very uh, focused on managing our money. And, uh, you know, in our call earlier today, we ended ended uh, the June quarter at uh, a number which was actually slightly below the March quarter because we worked hard on collecting our receivables. We worked very closely uh, with the government incentive as part of the Q's program. Uh, our employees took a reduction, a voluntary reduction in salary. We had to lay off our hourly employees at the theater. So, and we've been working with our other partners, including our landlords and suppliers uh, to help us through this period. So we've been very, very focused and uh, conscious about uh, preserving cash and making sure we are in the business for the long term. And as part of that, you just referenced, for example, working with the federal government on things like the wage subsidy program. Have you felt like the efforts by the government have helped you navigate through all this? On the wage side, it definitely has because it's allowed us to, uh, you know, retain employment for uh, our full-time employees, and that was uh, very beneficial. Again, we are in a different situation than most retailers because uh, we just opened our first uh, number of theaters in Alberta this weekend. Uh, we opened six locations, three in Calgary and three in Edmonton. So it's going to be a slow ramp up for us as we continue to gain confidence for our guests to have an experience where they feel safe and comfortable. And we are going to do everything within our power to make sure that that happens from our cleaning protocols to our physical distancing to using technology so that people come in and our guests have a great time within our theaters and our rec rooms well, also. I'm glad you brought that up because, look, this is not um, a scientific poll, but we did put on our website this morning, um, uh, 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 we put the question to our audience about how they would feel about returning to a movie theater, and we put a few different options up there. Um, but, a, but about 10% said they would be ready to come back to the theaters as soon as they open. Um, about 20% said they want to wait. And then a, the large majority said they're going to stay at home. Um, in building that case, in building that confidence with your customers, how will you do that? What, what is the approach there? Well, uh, some of the statistics you mentioned uh, aren't as uh, close to what we are seeing with our scene members because we continuously, uh, you know, poll those members to see what they feel. And to me, the importance is, is that we follow the highest levels of protocols when people uh, come to our uh, uh, rec rooms and our theaters. And by opening in a phased approach, we learn as we go forward. And that's what we did this past uh, weekend in Alberta. So we will, uh, you know, do all of the things that uh, are required from hand sanitizers to masks to the physical distancing when you're in your seat and everything can be done electronically. We encourage you to book your seats online and the minute you book your seat, it blocks off the seats uh, within the required physical distancing. So you can be comfortable while you're seated and watching the movie. And to me, and uh, you know, you can... yeah. sorry. Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, I apologize. The, the, the delays sometimes uh, kick in here. Um, no as worries. we look at some of that video with 
with staff members wearing masks. Uh, this is becoming a bigger um, issue, especially in the city of Toronto, um, the, the subject of mandatory masks. Uh, Cineplex had made some initial comments on mask wearing at the theaters. Can you just set the record straight on how you feel about customers wearing masks? We will be encouraging customers to wear masks. We will be handing masks out if you don't have your own mask. And particularly when you are in areas like uh, the lobbies and washrooms, we encourage you to wear it. And when you're at your seat, uh, you know, once you're seated and you're physically distanced, we'd like you to enjoy your popcorn and drink. Now, we have restricted our menu in the early stages because we want it to be easy for our guests to uh, indulge in their favorite uh, popcorn and drinks. So I, I guess if you're having to try to make a forecast on when the uh, business can get back to some kind of normal, it's going to be different for every industry. But I remember recently, Kalen Rovanescu, the CEO of Air Canada, um, basically said it could take upwards of three years to get back to some kind of normal. So, so how are you thinking of the road ahead for Cineplex and for the movie theater business? I think one has to look at uh, what is the cycle of the films and when can we see the newer films coming out from Hollywood. When do we feel that our guests will have that confidence of coming and coming back again? And that to me are critical as to how quickly this ramps back up again, because the general desire is as humans, we want to be in an environment where we can enjoy things together. And it may take a little bit of time, but I think it'll ramp up over the next uh, number of months. But again, it all depends on uh, what happens to COVID-19 as we look forward. And it's just not about Canada, it's about the world because a lot of the movies that we play from Hollywood are movies that are right across uh, the world. And uh, we have been partnering with Hollywood. They have been great with us as far as working together in uh, ensuring that we and them can get to the uh, guest and make sure that they feel comfortable. So obviously that's the, 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 the hope for uh, outcome on, on some levels. Um, many in the markets were uh, keeping an eye on some of the uh, regulatory filing language. Uh, we highlighted the going concern language, um, which your CFO addressed on the conference call. C could you give us a sense on uh, what investors do need to be prepared for, Ellis? Uh, as you mentioned, so much has changed. If we were having a conversation late last year and I asked you, you know, would you be willing to consider something like a bankruptcy filing, it certainly would, would seem pretty far from um, uh, any possibility. And yet the reality during COVID-19 is we have seen a number of retailers and other businesses uh, go in that direction. So what would you say to investors about that? We have a strong balance sheet. We have committed employees. We are doing all of the steps we are required to do to make sure that we can uh, uh, survive for the long term and we will come out of this. We've had hiccups in the past and we've worked together to make sure that we come out much stronger and better as an organization. The only risk is, John, at the end of the day, we don't know how long this pandemic is going to last, and that's the factor that has to be taken into account. But we feel good at this particular time. Now, really, as we mentioned, there are the, these two parts of the Cineplex story over these last few months. Part of it is COVID-19. The other is that, of course, there had been that deal with Cineworld, which ultimately fell apart. And I know that's a legal proceeding, but maybe you can explain to our audience how you see the legal road ahead. Maybe you can clarify what to be watching for when it comes to Cineworld in these months ahead. Well, Cineworld on June the 12th uh, repudiated the transaction and uh, we sent out a press release following that. They said that we had uh, breached the agreement and uh, we feel we have met all of the requirements for the agreement and we will be, uh, you know, filing a suit against them. But uh, the timing of that uh, will, will come to fruition in the next uh, little while and we will make that uh, public information 
And part of the, the issue we were faced with was the uh, Investment Canada approval, which uh, they delayed, which had they had gotten the approval, we wouldn't be in this position.